Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, happy Friday. <laughs> Come on to say good morning. You hear back there just the talking? Oh, he can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Give me some. Uh-uh. You want lip gloss? Oh, damn. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, put all that shit on your lip. I can't even get no kids. Lip gloss? Huh? My lip gloss be popping and you know it you like it. It should be popping, baby. Damn sure be popping. All righty then. All right. This major got me in the kitchen making French toast. <laughs> uh, ask him, do ask Darian, do he want French toast? No, he had cereal. How many you want, Gayla? Two or four? Give me three French toast and a couple of cream sauce All right, three three slices of French toast. And some scrambled eggs. Yes. So. Switch pans. Egg pan. French toast pan. Alright. So y'all. It's Friday. Yes. Fill me with just a little more Jesus Friday. And on a serious note, there's um a little girl that I follow on Facebook. Her name is Chrissy. Chrissy. And um she um was first diagnosed. Her first diagnosis was Wilms tumor. And then she um went into remission and um make a long story short she's um been in remission three times and um the post that her mom made this morning was for you know she need everybody's prayers because things have drastically changed for her and i think she said that they were bagging her so i'm assuming that they put her um either on a ventilator or or something like that So, I'm asking all of you to pray for her. Um, she's six years old. And standing in the need of prayer. We know that God is going to have his way. And I know that um, we can go before the throne of grace in prayer and asking and thanking God for what he's about to do whatever the case may be because we know that at the end of the day it is his will that's going to be done he's going to either answer our prayers one way or the other and i just pray for her strength for her peace and comfort and understanding and um for god to have his way um i've been choked up about it ever since yesterday when a friend of mine, Michelle, she sent me the link because I wasn't even on Facebook um, that much yesterday, but she sent me the link and um, it it came to me. I happened to pick up my phone. Corey had my phone and I took the phone from him and I looked and saw I had a message and I went to my message box and she had sent me the link about it. Ooh, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I know I'm out of frame. Looking for my cinema. I, um, I had a long talk with, um, a friend of mine named Teresa yesterday. And we got on the subject about a lot of things, you know. And it was a nice, long talk. Y'all know I get long-winded. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I really did. And we wound up talking about, you know, Corey and all that he has gone through. And she asked me how he was doing. 
and um, things like that and talking about uh, being adopted and about children um, not being raised by their parents and how that makes them feel and you know it's just the gamut of things that you know people go through and a lot of times we go through life and don't even think about how um, things that we do can affect other people and she mentioned something about the guilt that some people may have when like when you don't raise your children and you give them up to somebody else to raise or something like that um, and that's true you know even like us when we make any type of mistakes some of us not everybody do that but we can let it beat up on us you know <clears throat> and so I mean that didn't have anything to do with Chrissy but it's just you just never know you just never know what's going on in somebody's life and it just, I mean, you just really just, I know you, I can't be there for everybody and I may not be um, the right person to handle your situation or, you know, for you, for even for you to talk to about it. But I try my best and I just hope that at some point in life, you know, I'm able to, and I know a lot of you tell me I have helped y'all in a lot of ways. But I'm, I'm going to give praise and honor to God because I know if it had not been for him, literally for those that are new to my channel, just five years ago, there's no way in the world I would be standing in front of this camera talking to y'all. You talking about shy? I am still shy in a lot of ways. Um, some days I'm comfortable, you know, with me and some days I'm not. Okay, what they do with my dish rag? Can I get a dish rag out the closet? Thank you. So, you know, it just, there's no, five years ago, try boo. I sometimes didn't like to go, you know, like what my husband would have. Him and his friends, they would have functions and stuff because I was so shy. And if I don't know people, I just sometimes just don't. Mm -mm. And sometimes I get a feeling from people and I'm like, okay, this is not for me. You know what I mean? But I'm still that way to a certain point, you know. Especially if I feel like um, people being funny towards me and stuff like that. <clears throat> 